If you want to accelerate your career growth, leave the best possible first impression, and be a quality tradesperson, then these next steps are for you. Awesome, you took my advice and you got the job. But now you have fear of the unknown, you don't know what to expect, and you're a little nervous to start. I was uh, very nervous the night before my first day on site. I had absolutely no idea what to expect. I had no idea what I would be doing. And um, if I would have had somebody telling me, uh, give me a little bit of heads up of what was going to happen, I would have really appreciated that. Well, I'm going to tell you that you have absolutely nothing to worry about if you follow these steps. Not just your first day, but always, because they are the foundation for a successful career. Okay, so you went to ckvlogs.com shop, right? And you got all your gear and your pouch and you need to know what to do with it. Well, it's very simple. All of this can be found on the shop page at ckvlogs.com. Uh, I have the electrician's pouch for my tools, the tools on the right. We have your, uh, your thick nylon belt here, uh, my straps, and the screw, screw holder goes on the left. Simple as that. The only thing this pouch is missing is a hammer holster. Uh, it must have fallen off somewhere, but you'll figure that out. It's very simple. Put it in the back. <coughs> and you need a nice long handled, lightweight hammer. <coughs> Your imperial tape measure. Make sure there's no metric on it. Uh, you will not be using metric for a very long time. So uh, these imperial tape measures are very easy to read top and bottom side, which is very important in the field. It makes it so much easier. <clears throat> you need to have pencils and markers. Uh, you need to have your hard hat. And use a nice thin Kevlar glove, cut resistant with the uh, nylon palms. The nice tight fitting gloves uh, are the difference between, you know, an actual skilled worker and a laborer who uses the big leather ones. Okay, so something very important to remember is never wear boxer shorts on a construction site. Um, you will figure that out real quick if you do. <laughs> if you just got new boots, start wearing them right away to break them in before your first day on site. New boots can hurt your feet for the first couple of days, so it's a good idea to break them in ahead of time if you have that opportunity. Also, scuff them up and make them look not so new so they're not brand new boots when you're on site. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the second thing I'm going to tell you is prepare for the weather. Weather conditions can change throughout the day, so you're going to want to start watching the weather forecasts. Bring an extra layer of clothing, an extra pair of socks, um, pack a knapsack. Most of my career uh, I drove to site and I still had a knapsack with extra gear in it. If you can afford it, it's a good idea to buy rain gear because it can be very wet and cold on site, but if you're dry, it's not so bad. The third thing I'm going to tell you is find the location of site ahead of time. A lot of new sites do not show up on GPS yet, so it's a good idea to take that drive and find the location of site ahead of time so that you can plan your route and time it and so that you can set your alarm clock properly to arrive at site 15 minutes early. And if you have to bust it, sometimes it can take you over an hour and a half to get to site. Trust me, I've had to do it, so it's a very good idea to plan ahead of time so that you're not late. So the fourth thing that you must do is set your alarm clock. It's a good idea if you have the opportunity to do so, to start training yourself ahead of time to be up between 5.30 and 6 a.m. You wanna make sure that you're on site at 6.45 a.m. every single day. That way you can be tooled up, your hazard assessment is complete, you've had time to socialize with the other quality workers who are there on time, and you're all ready to go for 7 a.m. Doing this will get you moving through the ranks quicker than you might think. The final thing I'm going to tell you is, the night before your first day on site, eat a big bowl of pasta for dinner, get a good night's sleep, go to bed early. There's no need to be nervous anymore. As long as you follow my advice, you'll be okay. It's a good idea to start taking vitamins and drinking those fruit smoothies as well. Alright, we've got the job and now we've prepared for our first day. Next Tuesday's video is going to explain to you exactly what to expect on your first day and how to survive that. If you would like some tips on how to start your career in construction, then watch this video. This is Chris from Chris Conkle Vlogs, helping to grow quality tradespeople. Bye for now.